Long before landing on Mars, Curiosity had to prove herself on Earth. But in the Mojave Desert, it's hard to get the full Martian experience. We have to deal with all these different things that are unique to Mars. Gravity's the biggest one. Now, Mars gravity's three-eighths of Earth's gravity. So we had to build a whole nother rover that weighs on Earth what Curiosity weighs on Mars. It's really fun to, like, every once in a while, kind of leave the office environment behind and come out to an environment like this and see what the real rovers are going to be doing on Mars. That's what we should do, is dig in zero. all six wheels, have it sink down so they're completely embedded as though it were mm -hmm. in an avalanche, and see yes. if it comes out. Yeah. We're potentially burying the side no. wheel, the middle yes. wheels. Let's get it really no, no, no. stuck. OK. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. You know, my dad said I was always going to become a ditch digger. And maybe he was right. We could shovel more in there, but I mean, it's up to its axles, right? Uh, we're really starting to sled now. Look at it go. Yeah, once the wheels drove over the mounds. <laughs> By the way, what I'm learning here is that it's really hard for this thing to get stuck. Curiosity makes it look easy on Earth, but on Mars, simple mistakes can be fatal. Two minute margin before our computed downlink of 8.5 megabits. We are a little bit power constrained. Um, we have landed a gigantic, complex machine hundreds of millions of miles away, and we're operating it by remote control, and we have to treat it very gently. The rover does things each day. And then at the end of the day, that data is transferred down to the Earth. The people on the ground look at what happened the day before, and then they begin a breakneck near sprint, trying to figure out what the commands for the next day should be. We'll be analyzing the rest of the sequence execution today, and then we'll get into the briefing. You know, there's not a lot of people who can say that they've commanded a vehicle on the surface of another planet. And once you have that experience, you get quickly calibrated to risk. The gravity of what we're doing isn't lost on us. And once you hit enter and you send those commands to Mars, there's nothing more you can do. 